Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, folks. I'm Yak, ready to take you through another edition of NHL discussion here on the channel today. And let me tell you, you know what? Today's been a big shaker mover day simply because one of those big guys that was going to command big time cap space has finally settled down, and the Anaheim Ducks have 18 ish million dollars left to spend to hit the cap ceiling this offseason. Folks, welcome to Clem Hawks. I am excited to get into this one with you because there's a lot to dive into with this one. Simply put, John Klingberg has just pulled the latest edition of the Taylor Hall Buffalo Sabres contract. And this is exactly what the talk of Twitter is. The talk of Twitter is not how much John Klingberg will contribute in Anaheim or how much that contract translates to a contender. No, the theory here is just how much John Klingberg has done to set himself up for future success over the next year and a bit. Right, you talk about playing in Anaheim until the trade deadline. You talk about being traded to a contender. You talk about being traded potentially to someone that's going to win a Stanley Cup, right? You talk about being someone that's going to be able to sign that long-term deal next season and really cash in. That is what John Klingberg has done by signing his one-year $7 million deal with the Anaheim Ducks. We'll discuss more in a sec, but before we get there, I want to ask you, if you're interested in NHL talk, in NHL rumors, whatever you want to say, consider sticking around here on Clem Hawks. We've got a lot of MLB going on right now, a lot of NHL as well. Having three of us content creators here on one channel really makes it easy. So, folks, stick around, hit that subscribe button, and maybe uh, if you really like seeing these one-year deals, guys really betting on themselves to try and win it all, Give me a thumbs up and let's see what we can get uh, get going. Anyway, folks, it's been a great day. Like I said, John Klingberg pulled the latest edition of the Taylor Hall contract with the Buffalo Sabres. What does that mean? It's a one-year deal to a team that realistically, yeah, there's a ton of upside. If you as the player perform great and the team somehow beats expectations, maybe you're along for the ride and you're either enduring yourself into an integral part of the rebuild or you're literally going to be a half retained, 50% retained at the trade deadline, $3.5 million cap hit player going to a contender that is, well, if you're trying to acquire a Taylor Hall or a... John Klingberg, you're trying to win a Stanley Cup, right? And obviously the Arizona deal, that was a different one there for Taylor Hall. I think that one still kind of confuses people to quite a good degree. But, right, it's it's one of those things. You're going to be able to bring the team back assets. You're going to get paid good, right? $7 million for a season for John Klingberg. A lot of people said he shouldn't have been able to get north of six, and he's gone out there. And because the Anaheim Ducks were able to weaponize cap space in what is expected to be a down year after losing Ryan Getzloff and really losing out on a what could have been a good season last year if they wouldn't have trailed off at the end, now you can... Get those assets, right? That first round pick, that mid-tier prospect that's going to be commanded in a trade for John Klingberg at the trade deadline. And you can kind of jumpstart your rebuild just by weaponizing your cap space. It is one of the most glorious things that bottom feeder teams in the NHL has started doing, right? They've started to be competitive despite being non-competitive during the season, right? Use what advantages you have to jumpstart or fast-track what you are trying to do. And it's the most glorious thing in sports because nobody likes to see a team just be terrible all the time. And for the Anaheim Ducks, i.e. the Oilers for a lot of years, uh, the Anaheim Ducks are really going out there, right? They got Seagrass, they got a ton of guys to build around. John Gibson's still decent in net. Why not try and fast-track it? It might not be this year, right? You might squeak into the playoffs this year, depending on what's going on in that Pacific Division and who tanks, who falls, who gets going, and what the Calgary Flames and Vancouver Canucks do. But if you can even just, like I said, trade away Klingberg at the trade deadline, go out there and jumpstart that rebuild where, okay, now next year, 
you are going to be a contender for the playoffs. Sneak in maybe a round or two, and bing, bang, boom, away you go along the line. That is what the Ducks, I mean, by weaponizing cap space solely in this trade, must be looking to do because it makes complete sense. And that's what we're talking about, the Taylor Hall trade, right? Because for Klingberg, it's a half season in Anaheim, get those stats up, look good, make your case, go to a contender, hopefully win a Stanley Cup, and then bang, go somewhere else and sign that long-term contract that wasn't available to you this year because everybody else got one. So now you go get yours next year. You wasted no time, no money, because you're still making $7 million a season this year. So folks, I'm Yak. This is Clem Hawks. I really don't think there's much else to discuss on this one other than the fact that it's a great kind of transition away from all these long-term deals that just rot at the back end. We're starting to see guys kind of get into that more like, I love the security of eight years, but you know what? I, I don't mind chasing that cup around the league a little bit, right? Yes, Corey Perry's done that at the end of his career, but guys kind of in the middle to middle half of their careers starting to get out there and chasing cups could be really fun and especially seeing what teams could do to manipulate the salary cap like the Tampa Bay Lightning have over the past couple of years could be really fun to see what teams start doing here in the next couple of years if these one year trade me at the deadline contracts start becoming a more normalized thing within the NHL. Taylor Hall, the originator, John Kling Klingberg following in footsteps, and here we go. Who is next? Will Nazem Kadri be the next guy on that list? You tell me. Folks, I'm Yak. This is Clem Hawks. Thanks for tuning in this afternoon. I am up on Oda here. It's 38 degrees Celsius. We are cooking over 100 today. Uh, folks, have a great one.